Hello YouTube, more fun with the sander. We're going to be grinding this off, making some of this clean and kind of dimensional. Uh, we haven't decided what we're going to build yet, but we're getting some of this stuff ready. And then we'll start dreaming up some little project to build. That's just some old inch square tubing. Pretty thick wall, I think it's quarter inch. Uh, whatever that is, it's inch and a half wide too. They're both the same. This is half inch, which gives you a reference. Half inch square stock. We're going to take the, just the uh, angle grinder. The thing to mention, we're just going to get it all so we sand it on here. We're, you know, we got rid of all that stuff. Like this, we're going to try to square it up. So that's pretty good. And that's not. So that's what we're going to work on. Whatever I build out of this, I'm not going to shorten it. It'll be made to this. It'll be whatever, some kind of little block for working or something. Talked enough, let's get this stuff cleaned up. Okay, I want to do this step by step. There's people who might not have did this before, so that's why I make educational videos. Uh, small grindstone. I know I got the guard off, just hush. These are them ones I always tell you I found at the pawn shop that takes off welds really good. They're really soft. They don't have that really aggressive, nasty welding stuff in there. Can you see that? None of that welding stuff. Five scripts to hold it. I have gloves on though too. But here's how you're going to square this up before you sand it. You're going to go around here and check each one. So I've cleaned this half with a grinder lightly. You're not getting aggressive. And then I'll take a 60 grit flapper this before I sand. See that? That's how you're going to go around eyeball. Because this end was cut off with a torch. See that? You want to get that the best you can before you go to the sander. And don't grind these corners. Use a flapper disc on there and do it lightly. Because you don't want to ruin that nice look. But, but see how much you can get off? You're trying to get as much mill scale off as you can. You're flipping around. There, you're trying to get as much of that off as you can. That's nasty to weld to, it's nasty to paint on. And like I said, this is just going to, whatever I make out of this, it's probably going to be maybe some little punching block with holes or something for a jig. I'm just cleaning up some of this stuff, like I said. So when I'm going to make something, it's all ready for me. And you can always put oil on it, but remember, degrease it before you sand it or weld. There you go. Try to keep this down so it's not a big long video. Oh, well, a little quick tip. This is one of them cheapy made squares that kept stripping out. See a lot of epoxy? I made this square and I epoxied it in here. And I left out about game much for different purposes. And it's just so handy. And it is really accurate the best I can get it. I put it up against my... We can do this. Best squares I have. Okay, now, I'm not bragging, but I do a lot of this squaring up free-handed just by ball, and I've done it so much over the years. And I can roll this in my hand. There goes my goggles. I can roll this in my hand and just about tell you if it's square. Square enough if you're going to weld it. That is a 60 grit flapper to 36 grit is too rough. So nice and shiny and pretty. This is probably going to be painted, but... Uh, I don't know the dimensions of it. It's probably, I want at least four inches long. It's like about four and a quarter. Get in frame. Because my vice drawers are four inch, so this might be something I'll set in my vice at the drill press. Okay, now we're going to start sanding it like this to get this as square as we can on the sander, belt sander. And then we'll do the sides. We'll do the end first. Now I could put on a junky belt. Uh, that will rip more off than red ones for wood, but I'll just take my time. I said, the trick is, this was cut with a torch, right? Find your lowest spot, right? You're going to have to grind down to that lowest spot to get this even. Common sense, think about it. And I'll hold this in my left hand real easily. And these grinders don't weigh much. I can kind of take the grinder like this. And see here, I'll show you. So I got this piece down on my knee. Like this. 
with a glow on. I'm not really straight in my body. I'm like this, and I'm, I'm just letting, I'm holding on the grinder good. Okay, you said it's small, and I'm just letting it float on there. We're not digging it. You know you should straighten yourself to do this stuff. You, you start pressing harder on stuff, it ain't going to grain any faster. So, it's really easy to clean that up. This wasn't much work at all. Okay, no talking, trying to keep these clips short. I'll show you a little quick tip here. This starts chattering. Yeah, really bad. Take, take the edges off. cleaning it up. We don't care if we wreck this machine, it's cheap. It ain't gonna wreck, it's just gonna make a lot of noise. Okay, the ends are square enough for me, but check it on diagonal too. It is square enough for me. Uh, the belt sander's just not getting this, because this stuff's dipped in. So we're gonna go back to our flapper disc and take these corners off out here a little bit. We're just being picky. We're just, just for show, we're trying to, ooh, that's hot. And don't be afraid to sand at a diagonal. I showed you if it gets clunky, kind of go like this, tilt it back, and that is hot flipping around. And like I said, that gets hot, stop, and go work on, like say, this piece. I ain't got to duck nothing in water. It'll just get all rusty inside and everything. I mean, that's cleaning up. But I think you're getting the idea. You, you'll see, you get it on the sanding thing, and, and this is just too high right here. So we're going to take whatever flapper it is, uh, 60 or 120, and get some more of the mill scale off. We want this piece to actually be pretty clean steel before we get going. Next we'll work on this. It's not making it dimensional, we're just getting rid of that junk so we can put it on the sander. Okay, back to work. Nice piece of metal, huh? I'm glad it was long enough I could hold on to the vice grips is why I showed you how I was saying it. I mean, the corners aren't sharp exactly. I want them to keep them sharp so it has a nice dimension like when you measure it. It's good enough. A little defect down in there. But you can't grind away to get rid of it all. Okay, good enough. Let's go back to working on this. It's cooled down. So we got to take these outside corners off because it's not reaching this part you can actually feel it there's a ridge where they make this stuff you can actually see it right there okay go this way first to get that stuff off there then go this way and i just have a glove on i've got my fingers up here like this be careful and like this i'll have my hand back here holding it but do this way first because we're trying to get rid of this corner we took the flapper disc to it we're trying to get because it sets higher than the middle then do it that way so let's get this done we're going to save this for another day the video is getting too long that's kind of basic anyway but figure out how to hold it's the trick like i said you want to get your fingers up here it's kind of tricky on that stuff Okay, we're going to call it good on this part. We'll take maybe the flapper disc to it. That is warm. It's dished in that much. And we're not going to spend all day. It's not a precise piece what it's going to be. The one end has a little bit of a defect up there. Good enough. That turned out good. Leave you a couple pictures and we're out of here. Long enough video.